Hi guys, this is the audio fool and for today I'll be doing a quick review on the name Atom. So it's a quick review because I actually don't own this one. I just borrowed it. So but I was able to spend a couple of hours with it and I'll tell you my thoughts on it. So it's an all-in-one, so you have the amp, streamer, DAC in one package. Does it have a coffee maker? Does the usual things, um, streaming, Spotify, right now I'm doing Tidal. Making coffee? It has internet radio, it can do UPnP, and as well as become a music server. SMS, TNT, whatevs. And then at the back you have the... A coffee grinder? Three digital inputs. One analog input, and you can do preamp out. And there's also a USB at the back and an Ethernet cable. It also has Wi Fi and Bluetooth for your wireless needs. So basically, all you just really need to do is to add your speakers. In this case, I'm using an LS50 by KEF. So it can do 40 watts to 8 ohms. And it also has a headphone out. It looks very, very pretty. Pretty, pretty pixels! You can listen to it, see the remote. Very cool. When you pick this up, this also lights up. Take out the plastic, please! But again, it's wrapped in plastic because I don't own it. I hope Take I own it. Off. Take so, it one thing off. that I have to say is that this baby costs. Three thousand dollars. The timing of the so music game was so appropriate. Easy thing to get. But again, it looks fantastic. Nice small package. Yes, you do have a small package. <laughs> so I tried it out my, with my standard test tracks for trials for the past by Subtract. It's a nice, tight, defined bass, but kind of lacks SPL in the final note. One thing that I have to say is that um, the name Atom has a fast rhythm. So it's, the timing is a bit fast. Yes, you do have a small package that does it last. And the vocals <laughs> reward with the song. For Frank Sinatra, it all, again, it has that fast timing I was talking about. So it has a nice light bass line, the vocals are a bit forward, and also slightly thin. But bonus sounds airy and full. For Don't Know Why by Nori Jones. Will you stop moving around? Um, Nori Jones sounds very, very forward. And you can hear the details in her voice. Although it it's a bit sibilant at times but the bass is tight and articulate and the snare is clear also although it kind of lacks the striations that I'm used to in my Ragnarok amp for Alicia Keys if I was your woman she sounds a little bit thin but again the the name Atom produces uh, detailed and punchy notes. Again, the timing is fast. And for me, I think it lends to not conveying a lot of emotion. So, for my comparison, I'll be comparing it to the... Yes, in the comparison, Ragnarok you have to compare amp. to something. I was hoping to compare it also with the Yggdrasil, but... I want it to be not too expensive. At least I was got, I was aiming to match the 3,000 price point, but instead I'll just use the Ragnarok and the Cork Mojo connected by a Chromecast audio. And the way I tested was basically to switch the wires. And so I'll set it up and at the end of this video, I'll let you hear some clips 
using the name Atom and the Shit Ragnarok combo with the Chord Mojo. So comparing the name Atom with the Shit Ragnarok and Chord Mojo combo, um, I kind of prefer the Shit Ragnarok and, and Chord Mojo for the uh, for all of the test tracks I chose. Um, for example, for Trials of the Past by Subtract, the Shit Ragnarok Mojo combo had all the three bass notes in equal levels. It felt a bit slightly relaxed, although the vocals were backward. I felt that the timing was better in the produced by the Chord Mojo in Shit Ragnarok. For Sasurai by Kodo, the drums were felt bigger and thicker with the in your small package Ragnarok and the wind instruments had more depth and resolution. For John Legend's Ordinary People, um, the name Atom produced uh, more f again more forward vocals. Um, John Legend felt bigger actually in the name Atom, although the Shit Dragon produced more emotion, more depth, more details in the piano notes as well as in his voice. For Nora Jones, don't know why. Um, the Shit Ragnar again has a more pronounced bass line. Really? You know why? Um, I the don't snare know had why. more striations or detail in them. And it was. The voice of Nora Jones was again slightly backward compared to Dame Adam, so the. The vocals are, I guess, the focus of the name Atom. For Sang Song's Carnival Animals Aquarium, um, the timing in the Chord Mojo Ragnarok combo was slightly slower, but there was more details in the piano and string instruments, and it was very, very easy to distinguish between the instruments. For Alicia Keys, If I Was Your Woman, um, the song itself felt bigger and thicker with the Chord Mojo and Ragnarok combo. Um, the vocals again felt slightly backward compared to the name Atom, but in the end, it was punchier and more emotional for me. For the Dave Brubeck Quartet, Blue Rondo Wala Turk, Again, um, there was more sparkle, the de decay of the drums was better in the Shit Ragnarok and Chord Mojo and had better impact. So in a timing sense, the name Atom is a bit faster, faster than the Shit Ragnarok. Again, perhaps I need to break in my ears to the name Atom's timing, but I prefer the Shit Ragnarok right now. And then finally for Van Halen's Dreams. Again, there's more detail in the instruments and I felt the time was better and the vocals were a bit backward. Again, compared to the name Atom. Um, ultimately, there's still a lot to like with the name Atom. So I really like the way you just need to plug in the speakers and that's it. It's an all-in-one, so easy to set up. Um, if you take a look at the back of my setup here, tons and tons of wires from the Chord Mojo going to the Ragnarok, from the Chromecast Audio going to the Chord Mojo, Fire the connected to the power cords automatically. That's like three power cords already. Although the Mojo and the Chromecast Auto uses USB. Still, it's a lot of wires to deal with, and if you don't like a messy setup, the name Atoms the one for you. And it's actually very nice. The sound, the sound quality is very nice. Um, is that it has that signature name, timing, speed, very very good for those who like analytical sounds or music well not for non-thinkers like and you and then 
what what I don't like about it is well it's not really upgradable so the website says it can be upgraded I think it's only possible via the preamp out so we need to buy an app for it but if you buy an app for it you basically bought a $3,000 streamer in DAC which is well is easily outperformed by the Horde Mojo and Chromecast Audio at least the way I heard it in my setup so it's, I don't it's not really upgradable for me if you do get a different DAC you're then stuck with a $3,000 amp again lots of better amps at that price range and ultimately uh, it can't really perform with the yes your small really, package is fast it's and it's not really comparable perform. with the <laughs> similarly priced separate setup in this case so but again you're paying for it with the convenience but I can't really say I want I'm going to spend three thousand dollars on the name Atom. So in this case I've been audibled or at least I think my friend was audibled. In any case What? Not yet done. If you You're do like, if you do today. need the convenience of just having the speakers connecting to it and then you like your sound to be your music to be analytical and speedy and then and you have the money then by all means go for it but for me uh, I'm really not keen on it well I'm really not keen on all-in-ones anyway but if you do if you're still considering it try to check the Simodio Moon Neo Ace it's a bit more expensive than this one but the sound is much much better or if you want to try out the cheaper ones there's also the NAD and the blue sound power nodes and there's a lot of actually options for all-in-ones right now but for me I'll stick with my separate setup and hope you like this video if you have any questions just comment down below thank you for watching I mentioned in my listening room upgrade video that I have a hump in the 53 to 60 Hertz so that one I'm usually controlling with my Chromecast audio it has a built-in equalizer so I'm dialing down the bass a bit in this case the name Atom app doesn't have any equalizer so just to even the playing field I turned off the equalizer in the Chromecast audio as well. Thank you.